So let's go back here. Remember, we have Google Tag Manager at the, uh, in settings, Google Tag Manager. It's already installed properly. Here's the code, it's on, off. But what we wanna do now is check to make sure that this is gonna swap. Okay, so in order to, I'll, I'll, and I'll leave a link on how to do this, but what you're gonna to wanna to do is add these parameters to your URL, forward slash question mark gclid equals test, okay? But we're gonna copy that. So if I did this here, watch this. It didn't change. That's because this version of this site is cached. So we wanna go up, I use Chrome. We're gonna do an incognito window, paste it. And if you saw it real quick, it's switch. Let's do it again in case you missed it. I'm gonna do incognito window, paste. Now watch that number. Boom, there it is, it switched. Okay, so that means it's working. So the number and the, the client, whoever's looking at this landing page, they're not gonna look at this number. It just, it, it takes a split second. Um, but we do know that the swapping is working. So that worked with Google Tag Manager. So when I go back to my call rail account, I can go into my tracking. And remember, you can click on those four numbers and it will show you that these two numbers were shown just a minute ago and a few seconds ago. Came from Google Ads because I simulated that with my GCLID parameters. So from Google Ads and my browser. There's no keyword associated with that yet because we haven't tied that to our Google Ads account yet. Okay, so that's gonna be coming up next. I hope you found this helpful. If you like this content, please subscribe to this channel and give me a thumbs up. Um, please write me some comments too if you have any questions. I'm happy to help. I really I really enjoy doing this for some reason. It's uh, It really gets me all jacked up. So um, hope to see you in the next video. I'm gonna have a lot more coming. Take care.